What is good everybody? Hope you're doing well out there. Last week, or actually two weeks ago, a friend of mine visited my studio. And maybe a quick backstory. This guy also lives in Munich. His name is Marcus and he has one of the craziest avant-garde collections that I've personally seen. Lots of like old CCP, but also Paul Harden, Deep D, Boris Pigeon Zaberi, also Yoji Mamoto stuff, like all kinds of different stuff. And every couple of months he comes to my studio with like two big bags and he wants to sell me stuff. And it's always hilarious, it's awesome. We drink a bit, we talk, I try stuff on. He's, by the way, also the guy, I don't know if you've seen my first CCP video where I showed the prosthetic leather jacket, right? I borrowed the jacket from him, right? So he has a crazy, crazy collection. And I asked him if I could film at his place and like show you all these amazing pieces. And he's kind of reluctant because he, Obviously, it's gonna be his home, right? I don't wanna to be too invasive. And he doesn't feel comfortable in front of a camera and stuff. So I'm still doing like work to convince him. So if you're interested in seeing his collection, please uh, let me know down in the comments. It would be good to have your support so I can show him. See, the guys really wanna see your stuff. Maybe they'll help, I don't know. But yeah, so he came to my studio and as always, I tried stuff on. A couple of things I bought, a couple of things I didn't buy, but this time I decided to leave the camera running, right, to show you basically what I'm trying on. Crazy beautiful pieces from Deep T to Boris Pigeon Zaberi, but also Valence, like all kinds of different stuff. And yeah, I filmed a bit, so hope you enjoy it. First item is a pretty strong item. It's the Augusta leather jacket, which honestly I've been eyeing for years, right? My friend has have it has had it like for I don't know two years maybe, and this has always been one of my favorite jackets of all time. I think the fit is just perfect. The leather is amazing, and yeah, the overall quality is just insane. Let me know down in the comments if you think it fits me. I think it fits me quite well. It f feels like it's molded to the body, even though it might appear a bit short, but that's just the shirt underneath I'm thinking. And yeah, close down, it fits like a glove, but I actually prefer it to leave it open. They can really see like the beautiful shape. I love the color as well. Not the color in terms of color, but the collar, right? So it doesn't have a very high neck, not like the CCP, but it's still a decently high neck. So that's like the perfect middle ground, I guess, for me. Yeah, the color is black, obviously. And you, as you can see from the inside, has like a olive lining, pretty similar to the CCP fit. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful jacket fits me perfectly I think and to be honest I prefer this over any CCP leather jacket but yeah let me know down in the comments if you agree or if you disagree beautiful beautiful piece in my opinion <laughs> next heavy hitter on the list is this beautiful deep tea coat I'm so in love with this coat. So backstory is I first tried it on at L'Eclaireur. I think it was in 2017 or 2018. Went there with my wife, tried it on. Heavy waxed coated parka. Crash seams, beautiful, beautiful piece. Fits like a glove. And in the beginning, I didn't want to even try it on in L'Eclaireur because it was just so expensive and I thought I'd never buy it. Tried it on, my wife took some pictures, and ever since I regret not buying it. And yeah, this is my chance to finally buy it. Fits perfectly, absolutely my size. Has been worn a bit, as you can probably see from like the creases, which kind of like are more visible due to the back's coating. But still, if you just look at the shoulders, like the fit is crazy crazy sleeves can be folded and so many amazing details but that's not it with deep tea 
Next item are pretty amazing gloves. So those are the wired trigger gloves, I think they're called. Kind of ridiculous in the first place. And when I first saw them, I was like, okay, that's a bit weird. But trying them on, they're pretty amazing. I think like pretty unique, obviously. Great leather, elongated sleeves. Not very practical, but still super dope pieces. Now another pair of gloves. Um, I didn't know what the name was, so I just called them blistered leather gloves because they kind of have a blistered texture to them. So sort of like a suede, but a bit rougher than a suede. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful gloves. Love the texture, love the stitching details. Everything is perfect. Also the the uh, the shape is pretty awesome as well. But they were a bit too big for my hands, unfortunately. I, I mean, I'm obviously a pretty tall guy, but I have skinny fingers. So they were unfortunately a bit too, too big for me. Otherwise I probably would have bought them. But yeah, just look at the coat. I think oh, to me, the steep shoulders and like the tailoring is exceptional and fits my body type perfectly. So to spice things up a bit, move away from the classic avant-garde, more towards like the techwear crowd, I guess. Um, this is a Valence Scartex coat. Pretty cool piece. Took me a while to get on. Um, but yeah, super lightweight, super thin, but obviously still water and windproof. And surprisingly good fit. I think it suits me quite well. Pretty thin. Cool detailing as well. Waterproof zip, obviously. But then as you can see, the top at the front is not fully closed. And it's the same with the back. Single vent. Hood, obviously. Articulated cuffs. And as you can see here, the texture of the fabric is just amazing. Second to none. Construction, obviously. On par with nothing seam taping everything beautiful piece unfortunately that's not my vibe at the moment i'm more looking towards like the avant-garde stuff so i'm letting this one go but nonetheless amazing piece next up is another piece from valence a running vest that i tried on fit me quite well to be honest, I didn't really see like what I would use it for. So yeah, for running maybe. But nonetheless, like I've never seen like the purpose of those non-insulated vests for me. But the fit is quite good, I think. Obviously the quality is incredible. Price is up there as well, obviously. Black doesn't hurt. Fit a bit. There was a size large to my, to my large fit a bit short. At least that, that's how it felt. But now looking at it, obviously the shirt is a bit long. But yeah, nothing special to me, to be honest. But the next piece definitely is special. So this is a Boris Bitch and Saberi Westback mainline, obviously. This is made out of a cotton fabric. My friend bought it at Hyde M. If you haven't uh, been to Hyde M, definitely go there when you come to Munich or check out the website. But beautiful West bag. Honestly, BBS West bags are pattern wise, I think the best West bags. I love this one because from the top, from the front, it really fits me well because it's kind of like elongated. Also has uh, pockets for your arms, which not many but west bags have to be honest so definitely good kind of weird in the back that there is not like a separate piece for the back and a pocket for the back so that's probably the only downside for this in my opinion but the front is absolutely beautiful also the sides 
just incredible and yeah all the details obviously the fabric heavy wax as you can see riri metal zips so this is definitely a high quality piece as you probably can immediately tell and here speaking of details you can see the metal tip which is riveted beautiful piece Now we're coming to one of my favorite pieces, another BBS West bag, this time made out of leather. This one he bought from my man Barry, you know who you are. Incredible piece. The first thing I noticed like from the top, it looks like a bra or feels like a bra a bit, like pushing up your boobs or whatever. But yeah, nonetheless, incredible piece. The back is just incredible. I think the pattern on the back is second to none really how it goes down oh it's just like pattern and construction is incredible leather quality obviously as you know boris incredible yeah has pockets for your arms as well which is really really handy and i think it's overall a pretty good west bag that can be worn like in a sep in many separate occasions especially like underneath like jackets and stuff Yeah, so that's been it. Crazy pieces in my opinion. I did pull the trigger on two beautiful pieces, which you will definitely see a review coming very, very soon. Let me know down in the comments what which was your favorite piece, right? I think the BBS West bag was pretty amazing as well, but the Dipti gloves, I love the Dipti gloves as well. But yeah, I mean, you have to prioritize, I guess. And yeah, this has been a fun one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, New video coming every Sunday, 6 p.m. German time, sometimes Wednesday as well. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.